Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of AC Unity. Doing still the big, getting all the collectibles uh, challenge uh, before continuing with uh, my personal challenge. That is, it's not like something for that the game uh, uh, mandates. Um, before, uh, after that, I will continue with all the uh, the mission contents. But for now, it is collectibles before and collectibles of after in the previous episode i found all the missing ones in the area we're currently cleaning out uh, and now in this episode we will be mopping them up so there are five chests one two three four five two cockades one and two and one artifact that is everything it's not even that much so let's first start with this chest. I hear it, but I don't see it. Ah, now I also see it. I'm just going to go uh, in fight. Oh, Stick him from there, you are. Damn it. What the hell? Who is shooting me? Ah, there he is. Sucker. Three out of three. I have to brute force it. I only have ten uh, lockpicks. We'll probably not make this. Nope. Not gonna work. I'm afraid. Really have to get into the flow. God damn it, I'm really bad. Jesus, I'm just randomly pressing it now. I'm getting close, but not close enough. Alright. Where are you, salesman? Straight ahead from the direction of the crane over there so that would be god damn it Arno. Hey. he looked like a salesman but wasn't one all right that would be somewhere around here i'd say I don't see a salesman over here. Right, I am such an idiot, going totally in the wrong direction. To the left and to the right. Those dudes are around. Right, I 
I have actually no idea where we were. Maybe here? Somewhere? Yeah, back and over the fence. So this is the street. Back. I'm a good guy! Good at smashing! And over this fence. There we are. Right. Nice. God damn it! God damn it! I'm either too early or too late. Nice. Nice. Right, 5,000. Good score. We are now going to pick up the cupcakes. So, it's a little bit weird that I did follow this direction. To that, um, the, the direction of the crane on the building towards that salesman, and somehow I ended up over here. Not sure what I did wrong over there. Probably I inadvertently turned to the right or something. Anywho, we now need to turn to the right because so perpendicular. Yeah, I think that's perpendicular to this crane. We're going right over there. So the crane is over here. Ah, that is what went wrong. There are two cranes and there's only one on the map. I think. Yes, there's only one crane outlined on that map. And there are two over here. Yeah, or maybe that is not count as a crane. Probably the cranes are only the ones that hold boxes. Um, and we need to go perpendicular to the crane, so over there, and let's just go over the roofs, because we, oh my god, oh my god, so annoying, oh, it's just because he, I think has no way of climbing up over there. Uh, let's hope these... You want me to come up Annoying snipers are still down that I took out over here. Or where were they? I don't even remember. Yeah, I think over there. Pretty sure. Yeah, there it is. Like so. Very nice. So now we are going to... Let's approach it from this side. And then we move... Uh, over over there and then we immediately are on the side of the next area that we can uh, clear which is a pretty huge area to be honest god damn it apparently I did run around over here quite a lot because there are quite some chests and stuff already opened up um, anywho, yep, 
let's go to the north and then follow the big streets until we hit that barn over there and then go to the right towards the north Chercher à impressionner une fille. Chilling out, very nice. Hey, what are you afraid of? I've only ever killed a All right, I think the chest was in the courtyards with a couple of dudes guarding it. Man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Thank you very much. Freaking assholes. And where is the chest? Clearly. Ah. Ah, it's a one. Level one. I was not expecting that. And let's quickly make our way back to the sand and then get to the east. No, 
and Nuss. They are already there. The river is there, it's just blocked by the view by this building here. Blocked from view by that building. Not blocked by the view. Hey you! Stay there a moment! Alright, I think we are now more or less in the area where the next stuff is. Alright, we need uh, a cop gate in the next building and then the building to the left. The top floor is a chest. Thank you very much, Cockades. And how do we access? Come here! The guys in here. Check out his. Ah, no. His left eye seemed to be closed initially, but. Alright, we have one dude over there, and probably guys in his line of sight. Let's lure him. Very bleak, funny, ha ha. Are there other guys coming? No. Very nice. Man, my memory is so bad. I don't even remember whether. Yes, now I remember. I did loot him. God damn it. Nice. God damn it. Nice. Again, these double button functions. Just use an activator that you have to press, let's say for instance, B. It is reading the newspaper and it is choking out. So I, he did both at the same time. It's just super annoying. Just use an activator. Use like the, for instance, the shoulder button and then you can use different. If you keep the shoulder button held, you can use Y, B, uh, A, X button, the color buttons, just to perform a different function than they do without uh, holding the shoulder button. It's not that hard to make uh, an intuitive layout, and uh, 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 an effective layout. Don't understand how stuff like that can get through beta testing. Right, another chest down. Now I think we only have a chest down. Ah, no, we have one more in the building across the street. So that means. Was there a window open here? No, right? No, otherwise the door lock also would not have any use. Let's get over here. There, 
Try to make a jump, it didn't work. We cannot really get in over here. Vous avez une bonne raison d'être là? Curieux personnage. No way to get in over there. Ah, such an idiot. Looking at the wrong house. throwing a firecracker instead of a smoke bomb. No way. This is annoying. I hope we are still in the neighborhoods. So high with this parkour. I, I mean, you. it's a cool game. All right, screw it. There was an overlap like here. Oh my god. Uh, that made it hard to get down on the balcony. I wanted to access by the front. Whatever. But the annoying. It's still my favorite game. Come here, you! But goddamn, it can also be annoying. Yeah, this is also what I mean. I'm trying to attack this dude and I kill the other one. I wanted to stay on lethally. Man, it can be so annoying. Oh man, and that's weapon sheathing in the middle of battle. Come on, let me allow to keep some player agency. Oh man, man, man. The game does say that right trigger is supposed to sheath your weapon, but that that is incon finicky and inconsistent as hell. Doesn't work at all. Right trigger actually is just running away. All right, whatever. Um, there it is. Those accidental kills are so frustrating. You're trying to do a non-lethal approach. Nice uh, interior, by the way, of this house. Again, very detailed. Good colors, nice textures, nice lighting. It's cool. Again, for the 1,000 millionth time, it's just all amazing. All right. So now there is supposed to be an underground area over here somewhere. Clutterie, Sweet A Crepin. I uh, looked it up and it's something like a shoemaker and materials or something shop. 
chance I will not make this look. Oh. Yeah. I hate it when the target is in the middle of the bar. It's so much harder. Alright. 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 Very nice. Alright, so I think we only have one cockade, no, an artifact to do and a cockade, I think. No, only an artifact. Um, so that is in the building, behind the building we're at now. So we have the river over there. We have a building over here with a parent map. I'm just going to go through it. Wanted to get on top of it. So would it then just be in here? My God, the prince! He's still alive. There's supposed to be prince in Paris. Sniper somewhere alive. here as well. Yes, very nice. Here we go. There's supposed to be a sniper on the roof over there. The prince is still alive. According to the map. Let's check it out. Oh my god. Why can't you make that jump? Sometimes Arno can jump very far. Other times not so much. Yeah, so ah, there he is. Alright, let's just leave that guy be. Um, anywho, an another area cleared. 2 out of 2 artifacts, 13 out of 13 chests, 7 out of 7 cockades. So that means we are. This whole area is clear, but we still have 2 areas to do over here. Then we have the middle area also cleared. But after that, we have some pretty uh we have our work cut out for us in the northern part where still a lot is to be done here i already picked up seven chests which is unfortunate i prefer to have them not picked up any symbols in here as well here seven here seven uh, it's better to here i picked up 12 already holy crap This one is pretty almost done already. We only need two chests. There's one on the map already. And we need three cockades. And there is one, two on the map. No, actually three on the map. So we only need to find one chest in this area. Ah, no, it's already here. I can just clear out this area. All right. Uh, I, I did that while replaying back to where I was around, I think, episode 73, 
83 or 80 when I had like a, a reinstall of the game and I lost my save. So it may be that not everything of this picking up was... Um, is in the playthrough itself recorded because I did that replaying back to where I left off the, with the last save that got lost. I did that replaying offline. Uh, but man, I did not remember picking up so many uh, items. So that's this one. So this one is almost done. That's a good thing. This one, yeah, five chests and all the artifacts over here one this is mostly everything and over here i also already picked up nine chests uh, of which there are three already marked on the map and probably the others will be below ground i guess so i'm now at 12 we still need two for this one and then two cockades of which there is already one on the map so one cockade and two chests this one is certainly doable this one is already done so then we still have one two three four five six seven um, areas to clear out uh, so it's one two three four five this one was already done six seven yeah seven to do uh, quite a lot and two two on, uh, only uh, not that much and over here we still have two so yeah it's going quite slowly it is quite a lot of work but yeah we are progressing pretty nicely let's see how far we are with the chests chest 64 percent two-thirds Artifacts almost 60%, cockades over two thirds. Yeah, so we are over halfway. All right, so for the next one, that will be this one. What do we need to do? We need three uh, uh, artifacts. I see one, two, three already on the map, so no artifacts needed. We need 14 chests. We already have 2 out of 16. And on the map there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 chests. We need 14, so we still need to find 7 chests. And there are also some... Uh, at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes. Uh, there are also two restricted areas, always making it a bit harder, but it is what it is. And then we need seven cockades. We already have three, so four left. And there are one, two, three on the map. So that means we need seven chests and one cockade is what we are looking for. And I propose i think i already pretty much walked around quite a lot over here and over here i propose to indeed ch first check out these restricted areas in the middle part that is where i wasn't uh, i didn't went to a lot yet and maybe also just go underground immediately i mean we are uh, in the neighborhood over there to just um see if there's a chest on the ground and then also let's quickly um, when doing the collectibles I also read up on the landmarks so these restricted areas apparently are no landmarks the river La Bievre we already read it when opening up this social club but there is one other landmark 
landmark over here, a little bridge. Pont de la Tournelle. Did I, by the way, already read this one? I don't think I did. So let's also read this one because this one is semi related to the area we just cleared. These are in another area, Hotel Dieu. A petit pont, I think I read when we were doing this one. Yes, we already read that one not too long ago. Let's now read this pont, Pont au Double. The original Pont au Double was built under the reign of Francois I in 1515 as a means of transporting the sick to the Hotel Dieu, that's a hospital. The name comes from the toll imposed, a double dernier. This toll was extremely unpopular and was finally put to an end in 1789. So at the start of the revolution. All right, then we have the other one. Pont de la Tournelle. The Pont de la Tournelle replaced a wooden bridge constructed in 1370, <coughs> whose complicated name, Pont de Fu, the Ile Notre Dame et Saint Bernard, did little to make it popular. Washed away by a flood, it was finally replaced by a stone construction in 1656. La Tournelle, for Turret, was a small fortress that was well known among Parisians, Parisians since it served as a comfortable prison reserved for galley slaves. Reserved for galley slaves. Thanks to the caring priest Saint Vincent de Paul. Public charity thus supported these galley slaves. However, on September 3rd, 1792, the prison's 63 convicts were butchered by drunken patriots, worked up to a frenzy by the diatribes of Marats, and who had no doubt mistaken the convicts for dangerous counter-revolutionaries. Holy shit, just murdering 63 guys accidentally man a diet trap i'm just quickly checking it i think that's like a um, like a, a rant or like a conviction like a speech or a written down speech i'm not diet right a forceful and bitter bitter verbal attack against someone or something yeah, it's mostly just like a rent. And then what is a galley slave? A galley, I only associate that with a ship galley. A slave rowing in a galley, either a convicted criminal sentenced to work on at the oar or a kind of human shuttle, often a prisoner of war assigned to his duty of rowing. What the hell is shuttle? Alright, so galley slaves are boat slaves and a chattel personal possession. Alright. Uh, that about wraps up the landmark reading. Uh, so it was seven chests and one cockade. In the next episode, we will be going underground, quickly check up, then this area over here, then this area over here. Um, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one. For the meantime, oh yes, shit. Like Arno always Stop says, always do. Keep on gaming. See you later.